Welcome to the 31 Days of Fire Monkey. Over the next 31 short tutorials, we'll introduce you to many of the features available in the new Fire Monkey business application platform. Inside of the Embarcado RAD Studio XE2 IDE, we have support for building Fire Monkey high definition and 3D applications using the Delphi language, the C++ builder language. You can also build iOS applications using the Delphi language. So let's get started and build our first FireMonkey HD application. We've got a form, and we can change the caption of the form, my first FireMonkey. And we'll use ID Insight to add a button. And we'll set the text property of the button to be Add to List Box. And then we'll add a Edit Box. And this is where we'll input the text that we're going to add to our List Box. And then finally, we'll add the List Box. Now, FireMonkey also gives you support for adding effects and animation. So let's add a simple effect to our button. We'll add a glow effect and make sure it's associated with the button. And you can choose a color you want for the glow effect. Here it's got gold by default, but you can also choose other colors. To call attention, to click the button when you've done your input. And we have a trigger property, which allows you to specify triggers like if you mouse over, it'll do the glow effect if it's if the button is focused. But we're just going to leave the glow effect around the button for now and keep it enabled. And we'll double click on the button and we'll create our event handler, which will just take and add to the items the text that we put in the edit box. And then we'll say run. And we've got a 32-bit application built with FireMonkey. We can click in the edit box. And then when we click on the button, it adds it to the list box. And this is Fire Monkey, and so on. Now let's do the same thing in C++ Builder with Fire Monkey. So we'll say File, New, Fire Monkey High Definition Application with C++ Builder. Again, we're presented with a form, and this is my uh, first Fire Monkey C++ application. We'll use ID Insight and we'll put a button and again we'll set the text property of the button and we'll put an edit box and that's where we'll have our C++ builder version again uh, input the text that we want to add to the list box and then finally we'll add the list box just as we did in the Delphi application we can apply effects to uh, buttons or any user interface element so let's go and uh, and add a glow effect We'll just leave that one as a yellow highlight this time. And we'll double click on the button to create an event handler for the button click. And in there, we'll just say list box one. We'll use the items property. And we'll call the add method. And inside of there, we'll pass edit one, the text property, to store that in the, in the list box. Let's hit run. And now we've got a 32-bit Windows version of our C++ Builder FireMonkey application. We can also build uh, Macintosh version by adding other target platforms of both of our Delphi and C++ Builder applications. And also with Delphi FireMonkey, we can build 64-bit Windows applications. So that's just a very quick introduction to FireMonkey building your first Delphi high-definition and C++ Builder high-definition applications.